Hi, everyone, and welcome back to JSA TV and JSA Podcast, where we're covering the latest stories, news, innovations from leaders across our industry. We're winding down PTC 2024. I'm Barb Mitchell from JSA, and joining me is Agostino Vilela from Scala Data Centers. Thank you for joining us. Thanks for having me here. Really flattered and proud. Yeah, you should be proud. It's been it's been a great um, a great conference for you, I believe. And you know, we thought we were going to maybe be speaking to you um, ahead of the awards. We were fortunate enough to get to talk to you after. So we have some exciting news to share. I believe you were you were I, I believe you were nominated for three awards. You took away one, but it's an, a big one, an important one. Outstanding data center company. Tell us all about it. Uh, well, this award uh, means a lot to us, especially when you think about PTC, which is a, an international conference, but it's somewhat geared more towards the Pacific Rim, if you think about it. And we are a Latin American company, a company based out of uh, São Paulo, Brazil. So, I mean, this is way beyond our wildest dreams, our wildest imagination to actually win an award in, in an international conference that, again, is more focused towards Pacific, uh, Pacific players, etc. And it kind of goes to show that our playbook is really international. I think this yeah. is pretty much a confirmation of that because we always kind of wondered, uh, are we just a local player, someone that can only thrive in Brazil or maybe Latin America? And this award kind of goes to show that, yes, we have a playbook that can go beyond our Latin American borders, can really be a worldwide thing. So we are super, super flattered. Right. And as you pointed out, this is probably one of the most important awards in the conference. Yeah. So if we were to pick one to win, that would be the one. That would be the one. Yeah. So congratulations. We're really excited to hear that. And um, speaking of expansion, you know, even within Latin America, you have some expansion planned, right, in Chile and Mexico. Can you speak to that? Yeah, for sure. Um, these are uh, very important markets for us. Uh, Mexico is the second largest uh, data center market in Latin America, and Chile comes closely behind. Uh, and they are strategic in, the, in their own uh, uh, significance. Uh, besides that, uh, Mexico have the benefit of being close to North America. So by, by addressing Mexico, we're actually providing data center capacity to loads that might eventually even be serving uh, U.S. clients. And both Mexico and Chile, especially Chile, are very important hubs with regards to uh, submarine cables, not only existing ones, right. but the ones that will be coming uh, fairly soon, like the Humboldt cable that's going to be connecting uh, um, Oceania uh, and, and therefore Asia into uh, Latin America. So I think these are very, very meaningful moves that uh, are, not, are not just simply a geographical expansion. It's really touching into uh, other markets by means of the submarine cables and the uh, board and geographies of these places. Yeah, absolutely. And and I'm also curious, I, I believe in back in 2021, you launched uh, the Center for Center for Excellence in Engineering. Is that right? Yeah, the yeah. famous COE. Yeah, right. So tell us what that means for, for Scala. Uh, it was a, a super uh, a strategic decision, a bold one, I, I should say, because uh, pretty much every single player, not only in Latin America, but worldwide, sort of uh, outsources the engineering. It's a very common practice within a data center industry, in most industries, as a matter of fact. But we decided to go in a different direction and basically have a full-fledged uh, engineering organization within Scala. We're talking about more than 300 engineers. We have, just to give an idea, we have more engineers than all our competitors combined in Latin America. Wow. Okay? And yeah. that gives us the ability to basically do a very customized designs and adapt very fast and adapt even to uh, higher bars uh, when our hyperscale clients uh, change them, okay? So if, you, if we weren't for that decision, we probably would not be winning this award, for instance, okay? Yeah. So this is definitely part of our secret sauce. Yeah, I, I, and I, I don't know about you, but I, I think from my perspective, sitting here, having had the opportunity to chat with a lot of people over the course of the week, some of the topics that are coming up continue to be around AI, right? And and the demands that those are putting on the industry, but the hyperscalers. And, and so I'm curious how Scala is is set up to address that. Uh, a great question, Barbara, because it connects very much with the previous one in the sense that it would have been much harder for us to cope with the demands of AI, especially when you're talking about higher density racks, a liquid cooling, that if it weren't for the fact that we have our COE. Because otherwise, we would have to basically depend on outside vendors, outside providers to sort of help right. us address that, having even a, a, a proper conversation with the hyperscalers. But the fact that we have this capacity in-house in, in will allow us to really have a conversation and being treated as, as a, one of the most relevant players worldwide. You know? yeah. uh, so the high-level conversation that otherwise would not have been possible. Okay, great. Well, there's, you've, I mean, you've started the year off 
pretty strong here, mm, yeah. <laughs> I think. It's I was very auspicious to start the year uh, winning uh, award, right? Right. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you've set the bar high. <laughs> you've got. To, um, what will the rest of the year hold for you? Um, I think that basically the continued expansion within Latin America, seizing every single opportunity, uh, harnessing the fact that Latin America has abundance of renewable power, which is something that you cannot say for the rest of the world. Mm-hmm. And who knows, we might even aspire uh, going beyond Latin America. Okay. Well, we'll watch for that. <laughs> yeah. So thank you. Thank you so much for joining us uh, here. I know we're things are starting to slow down a little bit. It's almost we're nearing the end. And I appreciate you making the time, especially just coming off the heels of your, your fresh new win. Uh, con- congratulations again. Thank yeah. you very much. And, and thank thanks, all, thanks again for having me. Reed, of course. Yeah. Thanks for joining us. And thank you, viewers, for tuning in today to JSA TV. Happy networking.